uh, Gensler is responsible for the termination of SEC attorneys. There is a $2 billion fine that Ripple has rejected. Ripple and its XRP coin are the source of legal concerns and a great deal of attention flowing from the cryptocurrency market. The Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States is now working to address these concerns. The attorneys for the Securities and Exchange Commission are at the center of the debate, even though there are no allegations of recklessness or misconduct. Uh, they re-signed after being found guilty of gross misconduct in the ongoing Ripple case. Uh, request for a penalty against Ripple for $2 billion has been submitted by the Securities and Exchange Commission as an overreach that has the potential to have far-reaching ramifications for the whole cryptocurrency sector. Uh, this plan has been received with criticism from those who understand it. For some questions have been made concerning the validity of the CC as a result of this discovery, and speculation has been stirred about the possibility of power abuse with this opportunity. Ripple's position has been undermined as a result of the Securities and Exchange Commission's inability to take responsibility for their delays, which have exceeded their previous delays. Arguments for injunctive relief, in addition to Ripple, other cryptocurrency lobbyists and advocacy organizations, such as the Blockchain Association and the Crypto Freedom Alliance of Texas, have joined forces to resist the regulatory policy that the Securities and Exchange Commission has adopted. Uh, there's an increasing amount of pressure being placed on the Securities and Exchange Commission, which raises the question of whether or not it would retaliate like a viper or risk becoming a laughing stock in the legal system. Congress is preparing to hold oversight hearings on the regulatory actions taken by C Chair Gary Gensler, which has the potential to make the current scenario far more dire given that Gensler is in charge. Commission's preparedness is required for the Bitcoin community if a few con artists take advantage of the situation by exploiting people's fear and confusion. Instability in the market and strategic positions taken by both parties, it is possible that the court's ruling uh, in this case will eventually have a substantial impact on how people in the United States perceive Bitcoin. The actions that politicians take in response to the outcomes of the upcoming election may affect the future of the Bitcoin industry. Attorney General Elizabeth Warren has reportedly suggested legislation that might make it illegal to use cryptocurrency in any capacity. Uh, this is according to the accepted jargon, because the only thing that is required for evil to prevail is for good people to do nothing businesses. And cryptocurrency aficionados should engage in conversation with their respective legislators and advocate for a regulatory framework that encourages innovation while protecting the interests of consumers. Okay. Ripple has responded to the request that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission impose a $2 billion on the cryptocurrency industry. The request has been met with opposition from the company, specifically because such a punishment is not warranted. The company submitted a motion to the court requesting that the Securities and Exchange Commission's petitions for prejudgment interest deterrent and an injunction be denied its claims. The stringent request for corrective action made by the Securities and Exchange Commission are not supported by any fundamental legal or ethical principles. Hence, this court ought to dismiss all of its claims. Ripple Labs asserts that he is opposed to the Securities and Exchange Commission and desires to impose significant fines. Recently, a petition submitted to the court expressed this disagreement by arguing that the fine would be comparable to what is typically imposed in cases involving digital assets that involve allegations of irresponsibility or fraud, Ripple reaffirmed its dedication to future compliance with regulatory guidance. So the company also stated that a penalty of this magnitude could potentially have far-reaching implications for the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. The company was adamant over the fact that the case in question was not its own. The Securities and Exchange Commission has suggested a fine of over $2 billion, which includes the disgorgement of $876 million, prejudgment interest of $98 million, and additional civil penalties of $876 million. This is because the regulator is conducting legal action against the blockchain corporation, Stuart Alderati, who serves as the chief legal officer at Ripple Labs stated that the request made by the SEC is genuine. According to him, he was in favor of a sanction that was less severe, which was $10 million, because he believed that it more accurately represented Ripple's actual revenue. The Kano briefing deadline was created as the case was getting closer and closer to being resolved. The request made by the securities regulator was subsequently rejected by Alderati, because stated that it was a component of an ongoing campaign of intimidation directed at all cryptocurrencies in the United States market. Uh, furthermore, he expressed his conviction that Ripple 
had been successful on significant points in his hope that the judge would conduct the final remedies phase of the case impartially. He also expressed his support for the idea that Ripple had been successful. Similar concerns and warnings were voiced by Brad Garlinghouse, chief executive officer of Ripple, regarding the potential long-term impacts that could be caused by the operations and regulations of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Executives from Ripple have demonstrated their disdain for the Securities and Exchange Commissions by asserting that a strategy that defies the prediction of the lawyer for the cryptocurrency SEC appeal in the Ripple litigation has a 3% probability of being successful. Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission are engaged in a legal battle that has garnered a great deal of interest in the cryptocurrency market. Impartially is widely regarded as a landmark case that has the potential to establish a precedent for the regulation of digital assets in the United States. In the previous year, Ripple was able to achieve some degree of success in its fight against the regulatory controlling body analysis. Attempts to the court who is in charge of the case has stated that the sale of its XRP token to institutional investors does not constitute the sale of securities, contrary to what the regulator had stated. The only exception to this rule is when the token is made available to normal investors. When it comes to the continuing legal struggle between Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, which has been going on since December 2020, the allegations of XRP sales anomalies have led to an increase in the level of hostility between the two parties. But this disagreement came about a very long time ago. At the beginning of this week, the chief legal officer stated that the company had formally contested the request that was made by the government. Um, several compelling arguments were presented by this organization in support of a fine of no more than $10 million. Uh, several at approximately the same time the previous month, the regulatory authorities had submitted a request for a fine of $2 billion for the corporation. Uh, several business professionals are making reasonable speculations regarding the next course of action, even though it is yet unknown how the conflict will turn out. Um, Jeremy Hogan, a well-known attorney, is one of the individuals who have in recent times expressed their opinions on the matter. It was his opinion that the the legal matter would be settled for $100 million that allowed him to make this statement. Uh, specifically, I am stating that the judge will give Ripple a break and order them to pay a penalty of $100 million in addition to the payment of no discouragement. In addition, Hogan thinks that the inquiry might be finally concluded in July or August of this year, uh, based on what he has observed up to this point. If you would want to refresh your memory, the investigation has just recently entered its last stage and the trial is scheduled to begin on April 23. Thinks although the chatbot anticipated that the decision might not be reached until 2026 due to the possibility of delays and appeals from both parties, chat PTA. Also indicated not too long ago that a final verdict on the subject might be handed down this summer. This prediction was made based on the chance that both parties would appeal the ruling. A significant number of users of Cryptocurrency X think that Ripple has a greater potential for emergence. Victory was achieved as a result of three significant partial court victories that were secured the previous year. In July, a federal judge by the name of Taos issued a ruling that the company's programmatic sales to secondary trading platforms did not constitute offers of investment contracts. This was the first instance of such a ruling. The SEC's attempts to appeal the initial verdict were unsuccessful, and the magistrate rejected them shortly thereafter. 